hello guys welcome back so as we have already completed our first challenge let's take up our second challenge now which is create a permission set group so once if you launch this let's drop down and click on launch and here in home page I'm just going to search for permission set in quick file once if you get click on permission sets let's scroll up and here I'm just going to copy this label which is sales orders so copy this and let's go back and click on new and paste our copied label here so once it is done click on save and here in find settings I'm just going to search for order so once if you get under this app permission I'm just going to click on activate orders let's scroll up and click on edit and if you scroll down to bottom you will find this activate order so check this checkbox and scroll up and click on save you save again and now in find settings search for order and click on this orders under object settings followed by edit and here we are just going to mark up permission for this order uh, so I am going to give for read, create, edit and delete so check these four checkboxes and once it is done click on save and let's create new permission set for sales group now so click on permission sets on your left side and in your challenge scroll down there you will find the label as sales contract so copy this and click on new and paste that label over here so once it is done click on save in this find settings I am going to type contracts so it is not contacts it's a contracts so once if you get under object settings click on contracts and followed by edit and here also we are going to enable certain permissions under objects so I am going to choose read create edit and delete so once it is done click on save and in quick find search for user so click on user let's create a new user here click on new user and I'm going to give license as Salesforce and profile as minimum access for Salesforce and for first name and last name we are going to copy it from our challenge so which is Eric Jackson so copy this and paste it over here and Jackson's come in last name so copy this Jackson and paste it over here So once it is done 
let's give our email id you can give any mail id over here and once if you give your email username and nickname or auto populated so here i'm just going to copy this title which is sales contracts manager copy this and paste it right over here so once it is done click on save and new we are going to create one more user called anud singh so copy this first name and for Anush, license would be force.com free. So let's give our license. And profile should be force.com free user. And copy this first name. And let's copy the second name as well. Paste it over here. And Alia should be auto populated. And give any mail ID. So once if you give this mail id username and nickname will be auto populated and for this title I am just going to copy the sales coordinator and paste it over here. And once it is done click on save. So this came as duplicate username, username shouldn't be same for every user let's do some modification as abc and i'm just going to click on save so yeah and now let's create a permission set groups in quick find i'm just going to search for permission set groups and click on that and for label let's click on this new permission set group right over here let's copy this label from our challenge copy this and paste it over here so once it is done api name is auto populated let's save this permission set groups click on save so under this permission sets we are going to click on this permission sets in group so once if it is done click on add permission set and here we are going to choose sales orders and sales contracts let's scroll down so here you will find sales contracts select this and click on add so before that we should choose one more thing which is sales orders click on s so here you will find sales order so once if these two are selected click on add and it is showing that only sales orders got selected let's go back and click on sales contracts so once if both of these two are selected click on add so now you will able to see two permission sets right over here so once it is done click on done and again click on this permission set groups and here you will find sales processing click on sales processing followed by manage assignment and add assignment right over here and choose eric jackson so which is your check this checkbox and click on assign click on done and again click on add assignment we are going to add it for one more user which we have just created who is Anuj Singh so check this checkbox and click on assign and here you will get some warning just ignore that and click on done and now let's go to our permission sets for sales orders so click on alphabet S here you will find the sales order click on sales orders under assigned app if you click on edit you can find sales lightning and standard sales click on add by selecting these two so once it is done click on save 
and here if you over to this permission set overview there you will find edit activated orders as a permission name so click on app permission followed by edit and here if you scroll down you will find this edit activated orders so check this checkbox and scroll up and click on save now click on save one more time so hopefully we have completed this challenge let's scroll down and click on check challenge so yeah guys we have successfully completed our second challenge for this particular patch and our upcoming challenges mm -hmm. will be available in the same playlist do check that and mm -hmm. see you all on next video until then bye bye